a pleasant good afternoon to one and all this is maria pushpam and for today's class uh, we are going to see distribution curve we are going to see distribution curve and the effect of uh, temperature on distribution curves then the different molecular velocities average velocity root mean square velocity most probable velocity and the relation between the three that is nothing but average velocity root mean square velocity and most probable velocity we can see one by one first i'll start with distribution curve i think you are able to follow the last class the last topic what i have taken for you it is nothing but maxwell's law of distribution of molecular velocity based on that maxwell's law of distribution of molecular velocity only i am going to explain this distribution curve so for yesterday's class we have seen uh, maxwell's distribution of molecular velocity is generally shown by plot of 1 by n into dn by dc versus c which is given which is called as distribution curve distribution curve is nothing but it's a molecular velocity it's a plot between two things one is nothing but 1 by n into dn by dc in versus velocity it's uh, it's a the range is between the fraction of molecules and the velocity so this curve we call it as distribution curve and the actual formula we have seen in the last classes dn divided by n is equal to 4 pi m divided by 2 pi rt the whole power 3 by 2 into c square into e to the power of minus mc square divided by 2 rt into dc and uh, this equation we can re-modify as we can take the dc present on the right side to the left side so the equation becomes 1 by n into dn by dc is equal to 4 pi m by 2 pi rt the whole power 3 by 2 into c square into e to the power of minus mc square divided by 2 rt okay using this equation only we are going to plot between the fraction of molecules and velocity so the term 1 by n into dn by dc is called as partial function and give, gives a fraction of molecules moving with the velocity of the range d and d plus c plus dc i'll repeat ma so what do you mean by distribution curve is it's a curve uh, it shows a plot between the fraction of molecules versus velocity and the plot is called as distribution curve and it is derived from the equation dn by n is equal to 4 pi m divided by 2 pi rt the whole power 3 by 2 into c square into e to the power of minus mc square divided by 2 rt into dc this equation is modified as 1 by n into dn by dc which is equal to 4 pi m divided by 2 pi rt the whole power 3 by 2 into c square into e to the power of minus mc square by 2 rt so if you take the term 1 by n dn by dc this gives a fraction of molecules moving with the velocity c and c plus dc it will be moving between c and c plus dc so we are plotting a graph between velocity and fraction of molecules velocity is nothing but c and fraction of molecules is 1 by n dn by dc if you see the curve as we increase the velocity the fraction of the molecule the the well if we, if we increase the, the, the if you see the thing the plot is found to be increasing it reaches a maximum then it decreases okay you see the uh, plot very carefully so the plot is between fraction of molecules versus velocity as we increase the velocity the speed also increases the fraction of molecules also increases reaches a maximum and then it decreases and the increase in maximum point that is noted as most probable velocity i'll define this most probable velocity later on i think you're able to understand the graph so graph is plotted between fraction of molecules and velocity 
and if you take velocity as you increase velocity the fraction of molecules also increases reaches a maximum then it, it, it decreases slowly then comes to a minimum now we can see the features of this curve that is the character of this curve based on this curve we are going to say some properties of this curve some three properties the first one are you able to follow me so i'll repeat the plot once again so the plot is between so this curve is called as distribution curve the curve oda per enna distribution curve idu yaarukku yaarukku nama plot panirukonama fraction of molecules ku velocity ku against a plot panirukom nama velocity increase pannumba fraction of molecules increase aagudhu maximum reach aagudhu adukapra slow a decrease aayi minimum la vandu mudiyudhu appra ni velocity increase pannalum molecules number of molecules enna koranjikitte edha varum is it okay so and the maximum number of molecules is found in the middle point and that we call it is most probable velocity most probable velocity so now we are going to see the features of the salient features of this curve i said to be the characteristics possessed by this curve that is said to be salient features of the curve first point enna solrona the area under the distribution curve indicates the total number of molecules present in the given sample of the gas so given sample of the gas la evlo molecules irukiradha in the curve ku ulla ulla area nama curve eppadi irundhuchu slow ah start aagi maximum thukku poi thirupi minimum vandu and the curve ku ulla ulla area enna kaamikiduna total number of molecules present in the given sample of gas adha first point okay second property enna solludu nama the fraction of the molecules possessing uh, very low and very high velocity is found to be very small thus no molecule moves with velocity zero or infinity neenga paathina curve paathina starting la minimum la thodangi அப்புறம் மேக்சிமம் போய் திருப்பி மினிமம் ஸோ வெலாசிட்டி நம்ம ஸ்டார்ட் பண்ணும்போது என்ன ஆகுதுன்னா நம்பர் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் கொஞ்சம் இருக்குது அதனால தான் கவ் கொஞ்சம் ரைஸ் ஆகிருக்கு அதே மாதிரி லாஸ்ட்டில் முடிய போகும்போது கொஞ்சம் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் தான் இருக்குது ஸோ இதுலேருந்து என்ன நமக்கு என்ன தெரியுதுன்னா ஃப்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் ப்ரொசஸிங் வெலாசிட்டி வெரி லோ அண்ட் வெரி ஹை இஸ் ஃபவுண்ட் டு பி வெரி வெரி ஸ்மால் வெலாசிட்டி குறவாக இருக்க மாலிக்கலும் கொஞ்சம் தான் இருக்குது வெலாசிட்டி நிறைய இருக்க மாலிக்கலும் குறவாக தான் இருக்குது ஃப்ராக்ஷன் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் ரெண்டு எண்டில் ஸ்டார்டிங் வந்து மினிமம் வெலாசிட்டி இருக்கக்கூடியது லாஸ்ட்டில் பார்த்திங்கன்னா மேக்சிமம் வெலாசிட்டி இருக்கக்கூடிய ஸோ ரெண்டு ஏரியாலையுமே பார்த்திங்கன்னா கொஞ்சம் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் தான் இருக்குது இஸ் இட் ஓகே அந்த மேக்சிமம் பாயிண்ட் இந்த கர்வ் ரெப்ரஸன்ஸ் த வெலாசிட்டி ப்ரொசஸ் பை த மேக்சிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் அண்ட் திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் மோஸ்ட் ப்ராபபிள் வெலாசிட்டி திஸ் இஸ் கால்ட் அஸ் மோஸ்ட் ப்ராபபிள் velocity is it clear i'll repeat so first point enna solludana area under the curve shows the total number of molecules area and the curve ku ullulla area vandu total number of molecules vandu kaamikidu adutha enna na endha fraction of molecules pathina yaarume maximum number of molecules pathina low velocity kum high velocity kum konja number dhaan irukku so no, no where the thing is found to be infinity infinite number of molecules namak engeyume varla zero molecules um varla ena velocity increase pannumba slow ah increase aa thodum number of molecules um slow ah increase aayi maximum number of molecules pogudhu appra thirupi paapa velocity nam increase pannite da irukum but number of molecules pathina koranjite varudhu appra minimum thukku varudhu so velocity nariya velocity iruka molecule um koravaa da irukku minimum velocity iruka molecule um koravaa irukku and starting area and ending area adha enadhu minimum velocity maximum velocity so adha la small number of molecules konja molecules da irukku moonadha point enna solrona the most probable velocity then the peak unakku nama inga maximum varudna maximum number of molecules vandu or velocity possess pannudhu and the velocity oda per da enna na most probable velocity appo the curve oruka kuda kaamikiren you can understand what i said you so pathinga the curve pathinga na starting la konja molecules da irukku adhe mari ending la paaru கொஞ்சம் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் த மோஸ்ட் ப்ராப்ளம் வெலாசிட்டியில் மேக்சிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் இருக்குது ஸோ மேக்சிமம் நம்பர் ஆஃப் மாலிக்கல்ஸ் ப்ரொசஸ் பண்ணுற வெலாசிட்டியோட பேர் என்னென்னா மோஸ்ட் ப்ராபபிள் வெலாசிட்டி ஸோ தீஸ் ஆர் த த்ரீ ப்ராப்பர்ட்டிஸ் அ கேரக்டரிஸ்டிக்ஸ் ப்ரொசஸ் பை திஸ் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் கர்வ் ஓகே ஸோ நெக்ஸ்ட் பாயிண்ட் நம்ம என்ன பார்க்க போகிறோம்னா எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் டெம்பரேச்சர் ஆன் டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் கர்வ் இந்த டிஸ்ட்ரிபியூஷன் கர்வில் வந்து எஃபெக்ட் எப்படி இருக்குன்னு பார்க்க போகிறோம் எஃபெக்ட் ஆஃப் டெம்பரேச்சர் so if you see the plot the temperature plays a very important role in distribution of molecular velocity temperature vandu romba mukkiyana role vandu play pannudhu enga most uh, distribution curve la adu eppadi kaamikiren 
So first point in a kutrukona change of temperature does not alter the shape of the distribution curve. Nama temperature coot nalo, temperature kora chalo in ahala curve or shape on the marala. Okay, so two curves are shown. The curve gets flattened to a higher velocity region is shown in the figure. It is obvious in a kutrukanga. It is obvious from the curve maximum point shifts to the right showing the increase in most probable velocity. Temperature 2 is higher than temperature 1. So, the curve is higher. Temperature increase increase. The curve is flattened. So, it is nothing but increase of most probability with increase of temperature. The most probable velocity is increase. Temperature on the Kutumba. Is uh, this is uh, evidence what you are gathering from effect of temperature. Or your point in a maximum point shifts the right showing the increase of most probable velocity with temperature. That's the conclusion you are coming here. In a chalona temperature of the most probable velocity could that is velocity possessed by number of molecules on the kudu. So that we call it as most probable velocity. So the curve pathing a normal temperature T1 la pathing in a Namaka normal curve than correct. Temperature jasi ahum and the curve on the flattened out. Flattened out in an arthona, nary number of molecules on irkid. Velocity possessed by so on a most probable velocity will be increasing with increase of temperature. That's the conclusion you are getting from this effect of temperature on distribution curve. Is it okay? So, next point what you are going to see is the different velocities we are going to see. So, if you take molecular velocities, we have three velocities average velocity, root mean square velocity, and most probable velocity. Then we can see the relation between these. I will say one by one. Inna velocities, average velocity, root mean square velocity, most probable velocity. First, inna paaka porona average velocity. Average velocity na inna it's defined as the arithmetic mean of the different velocities of the molecules present in the given sample of the gas. So, all velocity na summation panna na. That is mean edutona, divided by n number. If you have 10 add divided by 10. That we call it as average velocity. So, average velocity is nothing but it is defined as the arithmetic mean of the different velocities of the molecules present in the given sample of the gas. So, this we call it as average velocity. So, if you take C1, C2, C3 are the different Velocities. This is the velocity. N number of molecules in the gas. Average velocity will be C. Average will be equal to C1 plus T C2 plus C3 up to Cn divided by N. It is related to temperature and we can relate this temperature. Uh, it is related to temperature and molecular weight is given by C. Average is equal to square root of 8 RT divided by pi m the average velocity the formula average velocity is equal to square root of which in a class la padichu pinge 11th 12th la uh, c average that is average velocity is given by the symbol c a v c average is equal to square root of 8 r t divided by pi m so this we call it as average velocity i'll repeat ma so average velocity is defined as the arithmetic mean of different velocities of the molecules present in the given sample of the gas it's given by the formula c average is equal to square root of 8 rt divided by pi m next thing we are going to see is nothing but root mean square velocity so what do you mean by root mean square velocity is it's nothing but it's a under root of the mean of the square of the different velocities of the molecules present in a given sample of the gas. average square square root that we call it as root mean square velocity. average velocity mean velocity so root mean square velocity it is defined as the under root of the mean of the squares of the different velocities of the molecules present in the given sample of the gas it is given by the formula c rms is equal to square root of c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square up to cn square divided by n 
so this we call it as root mean square velocity i'll define so root, uh, root mean square velocity is defined as the under root of the mean of the squares of the different velocities of the molecules present in a given sample of the gas so c rms is equal to square root of the thing should come inside square root okay square root of c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square up to c n square divided by n then if you correlate uh, this with temperature it decreases the molecular weight is shown by the expression rms value when the increases with temperature but decreases with molecular weight and it decreases with increases with temperature and decreases with molecular weight so it's given by the formula square root of 3 rt divided by m 3 rt divided by square root of 3 rt anga pathina average velocity pathina square root of 8 rt divided by pi m idu vand c rms is equal to square root of 3 rt divided by m the last one we are going to see for today's class is most probable velocity most probable velocity so uh, what do you mean by most probable velocity is velocity possessed by maximum number of molecules in the gas this is last one path to distribution curve on a the most probable velocity velocity possessed by maximum number of molecules is called as most probable velocity is given by the formula c mp that is mp most probable velocity mp is equal to square root of 2 rt divided by m square root of 2 rt divided by m i'll repeat so if you take average velocity is given by the formula square root of 8 rt by pi m then root mean square velocity c rms is equal to square root of 3 rt by m and if you take uh, uh, most probable velocity c mp is equal to square root of 2 rt divided by m okay so bearing these things in mind we can relate all the three velocities root mean square velocity average velocity as well as most probable velocity so if you see the thing you can notice maxwell's law is used to calculate the rms velocity average velocity as well as most probable velocity is it okay so it is given first one is given by the formula c rms is equal to square root of 3 rt by m or you can write square root of 3 into square root of rt by m second one c average is can be written as square root of 8 rt by pi m can be written as uh, square root of 8 by pi into square root of rt by m and third one you can write it as c mp is equal to square root of 2 rt by m which is equal to square root of 2 into square root of rt by m so in common we have for all the things as average velocity are the root mean square velocity are the most probable velocity are the common term square root of rt by m so and the square root of rt by m okay so the equation can be written as c rms is to c average is to c mp will be equal to square root of 3 is to square root of 8 by pi is to square root of 2 the value when 1.7 is to 1.6 is to 1.4 which is nothing but 1 is to 0.92 is to 0.82 or simply you can write average velocity is equal to 0.92 into rms velocity or you can write most probable velocity is equal to 0.82 into rms velocity is it clear so i'll repeat this uh, relationship once again ma so if you take the relationship maxwell's uh, relation uh, has related these three that's nothing but average velocity root mean square velocity and most probable velocity first you write the equations common square root of rt by m remove it so the remaining will be for uh, root mean square it is nothing but square root of 3 for uh, average velocity it is square root of 8 by pi and for uh, most probable velocity square root of 2 so you write the ratio of root mean square is to c average is to 
cmp which is equal to square root of 3 is to 8 by pi is to square root of 2 which is nothing but 1.7 is to 1.2 6 is to 1.4 or simply you can write 1 is to 0 0.9 0 0.2 is to 0 0.82 so 1 is nothing but for it is said to be root mean square velocity so root mean square velocity avandhi enna pannalana average velocity kadaikkunna 0.92 vachu multiply pannano unakku most probable velocity kadaikkunna root mean square velocity avandhi 0.82 vachu multiply pannina na kadaikkum is it okay so i think you are able to understand for today's class we can have a short recap of the thing what we have seen so first i have said you what is it to be distribution curve and the future salient features of the curve then i have said you the effect of distribution curve followed by the three different velocities which are said to be molecular velocity generally it is said to be molecular velocity there are three velocities average velocity root mean square velocity as well as most probable velocity and the relation between the three is it okay thank you for listening keep on studying thank you ma'am